Hey, how are you this morning? Uh, so I was up early this morning and I was going over some of uh, Matt's tutorials that he posted on our, our little Moodle page uh, dealing with MathCAD and how to work in the MathCAD environment. Fantastic job. I uh, love them all. But he postulated a little uh, question at the end of uh, number five where he was wondering if there wasn't a different way that he could finish off uh, that problem. So I'm going to try to give you that answer here. So I've set up a MathCAD sheet using a pretty much the same problem that he did. I've got a uh, simply supported beam with the UDL uh, magnitude W uh, on it. Uh, we set up its fundamental parameters uh, of length and load and then set up our uh, matching equations, if you will, for the shear force and the bending moment as functions of X. Went on, graphed it out, used the same step of 0.1 meters, got a nice smooth curve, and that's about where we needed to be to start this problem. So I'll just leave it sitting right there. And what Matt did is he went on and he says, well, I know that the maximum moment occurs at mid-span. So he was able to plug in L over 2 for X and calculate what M was. But he postulated, what if I didn't know? Maybe, just maybe, there is a way that MathCAD would be able to figure that out for him. So that's what I'm going to try to do here today. So we're going to start off, we'll, we'll label this. So we'll just uh, control T, put in a text box. And we're going to start with an initial guess value uh, for X. And we'll just close that down and we'll call that G and sorry, define that as some value doesn't really matter. I'm going to call it two meters. I'm very specifically choosing a value that isn't where we know that the maximum occurs, just to show that we're, we're not uh, cheating the system, if you, if you want to think of that. And then I'm going to have it calculate for me the va uh, value of x at which the maximum moment occurs. And so we're going to do that. x uh, max is equal to... And to do this, I'm going to use the maximize function. And it needs two parameters. So the first one is it's a maximum of the moment, and it is gonna use the guess that we did to get its value. And then I'm gonna hit equal sign, and lo and behold, it's able to iterate around and find out that the maximum point occurs at five meters for L over two. No surprise there, because we already knew that. And then it's just a matter of going I'm going to go a little bit lower than that down here, and we can go uh, m at x, and I can just use x max now as my value, and hit equals. And as you know, we don't like joules there, we want uh, kilonewton meters. Where is it? There we go. And 37 and a half kilonewton meters, line that up so it's nice and straight with my other ones. And there you go. So even if it had occurred somewhere other than where we knew it to occur or, or thought it might occur, uh, we would be able to figure it out, automate our spreadsheet to come up with the maximum moment in a very distinct value. So there you go, just a, a 30 second addition to, to what Matt gave us. So I uh, hope you have fun with it and able to use that uh, to effect.